Hi, I'm Dave Anderson. In fall 2009, I hunted pronghorn antelope at the Tellard Ranch in Wyoming. There were antelope everywhere. It would have been possible to sit down at the shooting bench, check the sights on your rifle, then turn a few degrees and collect your antelope with the next shot. In fact, if you timed it just right, you could sight your rifle and get your buck with the same shot. I hunted with my friends, outdoor writer Wayne Van Zwall and Aaron Smith of Weatherby. I shot my first pronghorn antelope in 1975 and have shot quite a few since then. But there's a lot I wanted to learn about them. Since Wayne has a PhD in wildlife biology, it was a good opportunity to sit down with him and talk about this uniquely American species. Well, uh, antelope are one of uh, very few animals that, that get uh, substantial nutrition from sagebrush and, and a few other plants that, uh, that don't do uh, very much for deer and elk. Deer and elk will eat sagebrush once in a while, but uh, typically under starvation conditions. And, and there are a number of species of sagebrush too. Artemisia tridentata is the scientific name for sagebrush, but there are many subspecies and some are better than others. Uh, sagebrush and, and rabbit brush have essential oils that, that, make, uh, that affect the digestive system of most ruminants to the point where they, they can't easily, easily digest the food they'd like. So uh, sagebrush doesn't a very big percentage of most ungulate diets, but it does for antelope. And, hmm. and it's amazing. They're such beautiful creatures and so frail, and, and, and here they make a living on, on sagebrush in these wide open places that get so cold and windy in the winter. So the ranchers must like that because it does, doesn't compete with their livestock. That's right. Yeah, good point, Dave. That's so. uh, lots of good grass this year. They had good rains in June, and of course, the, the spring and summer rains are very important in mm -hmm. this country. Right. This is Pretty well ideal antelope country. Well, judging, judging by the number of animals we've seen today, it certainly is. I, I can't recall seeing any more antelope. Since they eat different plants, antelope get along quite well on cattle range. What about the days before settlement? Of course, uh, you know, you'll, you'll have all sorts of uh, speculation there on what existed before the settlers came sure. as far as the number of bison and influence of the Indian on the, on the habitat too, which is uh, crucial, especially in timbered areas uh, mm. and in grasslands where the Indians would typically set fire uh, to uh, rejuvenate the range and uh, certainly rejuvenated grass, which is ideal for bison. Um, but antelope aren't quite as adept at pawing through snow as the bigger animals of the prairie, the elk and the oh, bison okay. and the deer, so they, uh, uh, they don't do quite as well in, in, in really bad winters. Mm. In, there's a lot of deep snow. What are some of the factors that keep the antelope population in check? Well, that's, that's a good question, uh, and I'm not sure that I can say. Uh, uh, winters uh, can take their toll on antelope, and it seems that uh, about the time an antelope population builds up to where it's, uh, uh, you know, perhaps extraordinarily large, uh, we, oh, a bad winter comes along. Of course, antelope are more susceptible to coyote predation than most oh, okay. of the other animals. Uh, coyotes get their fawns. As fast as they are, uh, antelope are still young ones, and, and, and the coyotes are very adept at finding them. What about the antelope's defenses against predators and hunters? Well, of course, they have that blinding speed. You know, an antelope can can accelerate from zero to uh, you know 40 miles an hour pretty fast, and, and uh, keep it up for a, a fair amount of time in rough terrain. Um, but of course, they have great senses too. They have good hearing and, and, and smell, but their vision is extraordinary. Uh, not only is it very keen, but their eyes, as you know, are set high on the sides of their heads and they, they look forward as well as to the side. Uh, a deer's eyes, like those of a, a rabbit, you know, are set to the side. Uh, a rabbit's eye you can see up as well as to the side for uh, avoidance of uh, hawks and owls, that sort of thing. Uh, but the antelope's eyes almost protrude. And if you, you, you look at a diagram, the, the circle of vision or the radius of vision is such that uh, an antelope can see almost every direction except directly behind. Oh. And so uh, that makes hunting them hard too. Mm -hmm.